What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Casper Chronicles. This is your boy Casper and today we have the never dying Salaman Great deck profile for you guys. Uh, I, I like this deck a lot. Uh, I'm honestly survive, surprised it has survived the banning of Mirage Stalio, Circle and Gazelle the One. And it just, I can only imagine, I, I think honestly Konami has to hit Wolf to One. Or, you know, ban Gazelle or hit Spinny to One or something that would just absolutely decimate this deck. Which would honestly probably be Wolf to One. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, until that happens, you know, we're, we're, we're still going to have the, the deck profiles for y'all, you know, uh, I do like this deck a lot. It's, it's, it's pretty fun. I, I, I do enjoy playing this, this deck a lot, probably maybe a little bit more than my trick star shenanigans that I am working on. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm not entirely sure when that's going to be up or available. Uh, it's it's still in the early works. Uh, and honestly, the, there might be some significant changes depending on the ban list. Whatever that is. Um, on the subject of the ban list, uh, we'll be doing a ban list prediction video uh, here in the next couple of days. Uh, for the upcoming September, no later, no earlier than, uh, September 1st ban list. Um, so again, stay tuned for that as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the deck profile here. So for the main deck, uh, I mean, I I've seen a lot of builds play, uh, like different ratios of the salad monsters. Um, I, I, I do... I play a pretty in the middle amount, but the three foxy, uh, it's really really versatile. Uh, if you you need extra uh, salamander cards or whatever, you know, normal summon to use the effect. Uh, search and hope and pray you you get one of one of the three salad cards uh, in those three cards, um, or uh, the graveyard effect is ridiculous and it's free. Especially say you normal this, you link it off into Bailings. Bailings will get the field spell. You activate the field spell, pitch a cybers monster, and bring bring Foxy back. And then you can go into Wolf, and then use Sanctuary's effect to reincarnate Wolf, and then boom, right? Uh, it, it's it's pretty dumb. Uh, so I I do like playing this at three. I I don't I don't see any reason why you shouldn't play this at three. Uh, it's, it's really good. All right, moving on. Uh, we, we do play the two spinny, uh, three is a little cloggy. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's good fodder to have in the grave, but I, I don't see a reason for three. Uh, two is the perfect amount. Um, uh, you, there's some, uh, certain combinations where you can, uh, you know, use, uh, Spinny to proct Foxy effect to revive it back from the grave, and then you have Spinny in the grave, you can revive it back. Uh, just the one time though, because it is banished, uh, when it leaves the field after it revives itself. Um, so yeah, uh, th I don't, again, I don't see a reason for any more than two. Um, we play two Jack Jaguar. Uh, I do like this just for the versatility. Uh, I used to play Desires. Uh, when I played the two ja Jaguar, and uh, I honestly just never, never got away from Jaguar. Um, uh, it, it's a really, really good card. Uh, a lot of people don't know it does piercing. Uh, so I mean, if I have one in the grave and then I have another one, it's a, it's a level four. So for like some rank four plays, uh, I only play two rank fours in the extra deck. Uh, you'll see in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Jack Jaguar is staying at two. I love it at two. I don't think uh, I'll ever drop it to one. I also don't think I'll bring it to three because that, that's a little excessive, I think. Uh, so for the one I'm so, for the Salamander Sal Monsters, with the one Gazelle, uh, you don't really need this card. It's, it's nice to have, but you don't really need it. Uh, I mean, Mirage Stallion was the, the big reason why you needed Gazelle, because then you could just dump 
uh, whatever you needed, like say a spinny or a foxy or something, you could dump whatever you need and revive it back and then go into Stalio and do the whole Jack Jaguar shenanigans. Um, but now the Stalio's gone, you don't really need any uh, rank threes. It's more rank fours. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and on the subject of rank fours, we do play the one Falco and the one Foul. Uh, Foul, the lockdown effect, the light stage-esque effect where you can freeze a back row uh, by pitching the salad monster. Uh, Falco, you bounce something to hand and then you special this. Uh, you can honestly, you know, if you don't, uh, if you just want to rank four play and that's all you can do or what have you, uh, and you have a gazelle on the field and you dump the, you dump this from gazelle, uh, you can use this effect to bounce gazelle to your hand, special this, and then proc foul if you have foul in your hand, or, you know, have another way to get another, uh, level four on the field and then boom, rank four, um, yeah, but I mean, aside, aside from that, like that, that's that's all the salad man great monsters that I play. Um, I I don't I I don't see any need to change any of this ratio. Uh, I, this has worked out pretty well for me. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, technically, you have uh, these can be considered honorary uh, salad man great cards. The two debug, two buffalo. Uh, Buffalo's good. Um, the drawing effect is nice, you know, get fodder in the grave, uh, cause you know, you want as many things as possible in the graveyard for Salamangrate. <sighs> However, uh, I do like the two debug instead of Buffalo. I've, I've considered bumping this to three and cutting this to one. Uh, but I do like the two and two cause the versatility, uh, this you can draw, draw to and hope you get what you need or this you can normal and get what you need. Uh, and also, you know, debugs a level four, so it kind of plays into the whole, uh, rank four shenanigans. Um, uh, but for now we're going to leave, I, I'm going to leave it at two and two. Uh, it's, it, so far it's pretty good. I do like it. Um, uh, before I actually picked up the other debug, it was, uh, one debug and three buffalo. I could not stand that ratio. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I do. I do like that ratio a lot. So moving on to hand traps. Uh, a lot of people don't really play Phantasma anymore. But I feel like in, in, in Salad you need it. Because um, it helps you draw into other 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 things that you need. Um, like the, hand, the other hand traps I'm about to show you here in a minute. Uh, the targeting, the prevent it from targeting ability is ridiculous and also you know a, a lot of decks at the same time a lot of decks do go into the Halky fibrox combo or needle fiber combo whatever you want to call it uh so you just drop phantasme and you know they do their shenanigans and who knows i mean with phantasme honestly you could draw into the smashy rock or nibiru um a lot of times this deck does lose to nibiru um if you get Nibiru, you want to have the ability to Nibiru them back. Uh, if you don't Nibiru them and they kill your board and then they have like like two or three negates, but your graveyard is set up, you can get one monster back. It's it's happened before. And then literally the next card I drew was Nibiru. So I, I had to concede. Uh, I could not play through any of that. Um, yeah. So your best bet, honestly, is to hope you, to, well, to drop Phantasma and hope you draw into a Nibiru if you don't already have it in your hand. Uh, and then the third hand trap, of course, you always have to play Ash in some form in Salaman Green. It's a fire monster. You can literally pick it up with Wolf. Um it's it's really dumb uh this the fact that you this the, this this card fits in this deck so well um i mean obviously you played at three because it's it's who doesn't play ash at three um uh, it's it's not so good this format but it does come up quite a bit and honestly uh, i i just like to play it just because i can recur it with wolf if 
say I don't need to add back uh, Gazelle. So, you know, definitely Ash is a three of, in my opinion, in this deck. So, uh, let's see. On to the spells. So, you got the three sign at mining. It's literally the rota for uh, any cyber stack, but mainly Salamangrate. I know, I know. These are ultras. I'm working on the secrets. Uh, I'm actually waiting for the Megatons to drop so uh, that the supers come out and uh, I can pick up the secrets for super cheap. Um, but yeah, uh, you definitely need this card uh, to search out any pieces that you might need. Uh, honestly, I've used this to search debug as well. So that way I can do a uh, normal debug, search gazelle, go into uh, bay links, you use the field spell, recur the bay, uh, reincarnate the bay links, and then do my place from there. Uh, at that point, it's not really the greatest hand in the world, but you do what you got to do sometimes. Uh, so in order for our combos to go off, we have to play Call by the Grave. So I cannot say how many times I have been hand trapped to death in say a mirror match or uh, against uh, uh, I almost I always want to call it Dragma uh, the Dogmatica uh, deck you know I always get hand trapped so like I I do feel like you do need to play this at three especially if you're trying to search some pieces you need protection from uh mining to resolve uh so triple call by the grave is a must you need your search cards to go through um moving on uh so i play two will uh i don't really like three because i feel like three is cloggy uh it, you only really need it once and honestly it's only for nibiru so it's either, you know, draw one of these two or draw a Nibiru. So if your opponent Nibiru's you, you can continue on with some of your plays. Or you can just drop a Nibiru on them and, and teach them what it feels like. Um, again, like three, three is too much. Two is right in that sweet spot. One, you don't really see it enough for it to make an impact. Uh, so two is the, the, the best in my opinion, for this amount of salad monsters. If, you, if we, I feel like if we played more salad monsters, we probably would bump it to three. But I don't foresee like more salad monsters being played aside from the ratio that I have. So for the one ofs for the spells, uh, you have the one sanctuary, self-explanatory, the reincarnation, uh, link summon enabler for salad man, great. And of course, the the other Rota for Salamangrate that, right, rightfully so, it was put to one for a reason. The card, this card is dumb, um, but I, I, I kind of wish they they put it to like two. You know, I feel like the, if they hit Gazelle or something, they're probably gonna move this to the to two. But at the same time, you can only activate one per turn, so uh, it's kind of a pick your poison type of thing. All right, uh, moving on to the traps here. Let me get all of this out of the way. So onto the traps. Uh, it's a very uh, different, I think. Uh, I don't see a lot of people playing uh, two rage and two roar. It's normally two rage, one roar, or one rage, one roar. Uh, I just like the, the two and two because it, it's... It's really nice to be able to draw one of these or say you draw both of them, but you need uh, monsters in the grave, but you have gazelle or you have a way to get to, to gazelle. Uh, that way, like you, you have a negate and you have two pop, well, at least two pops uh, or one pop if you don't make a salad link monster. Um, but I mean, a, a lot of times uh, if I dump this, and I have to like pitch this off of for Foxy has happened. Uh, so well, either way, either one, I pitch off a of Foxy and then I would dump the other one from Gazelle or what have you. Uh, whatever way this card gets in the grave, uh, I can revive it back when I reincarnation link summon, but then it gets banished and then it's, it's kind of, it's gone. 
Like there's no there's no way to get it back. Uh, so it is nice to have the second one. I, I, a lot of times my opponents never really expect the second one. They probably will now because of this deck profile. But um, yeah, uh, so two, two and two is my like the ratio that I do like a lot. Uh, you know, if if you don't like it, I mean, obviously you can change it. I just want you for to use this for a baseline and you know how you could build your deck just however you want. <laughs> Ironically enough, Heart of the Cards is kind of a thing. I'm a firm believer in that because if I try to copy someone's deck, I don't really feel the the flow of the deck versus if, you know, I take someone's deck and I make it my own. You know, as cheesy as that sounds, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. All right, anyway, moving on. Uh, for the last hand trap and, well, trap nonetheless, you have to play three infinite and permanents. Uh, I, I really like this card a lot. Uh, it cannot be called by the grave. Uh, and I mean, unless your opponent already has an established board, uh, good luck. Um, uh, this can turn off, uh, Appaloosa, Winda, Winda just destroys the salad. Oh my gosh, Winda is terrible. Um, uh, Avermax is a problem unless you have rage because it's not targeting but uh aside from that uh you do need to play this just for you know like the problem especially for winda like i said winda is an issue um appaloosa is an issue uh savage i mean this, this will bait up the negate um yeah and and a lot of things are a problem for this deck but if you have the right pilot behind it, you, you can kind of navigate and still come out on top. All right, guys, uh, that is that is the main deck. Um, it is 40 cards, exactly. Uh, I'm not really a fan of over 40, but if if it really came to like push or shove, uh, then uh, I would probably maximum like 42 43 it really just depends on you know what deck it is and how many one ups you have and how how many one ups you don't want to draw you know uh so moving on to the extra deck uh of course you know the standard bailing three bailings three wolf two heat leo uh this ratio is standard it's always going to stay the same uh i have seen uh a while ago that people were cutting bailings to two um yeah i mean that it is I, it is feasible but i don't see I, I like the protection effect a lot uh and you know like the versatility if you know all oh, crap you know i have to get foxy in the grave but i only have link twos in my extra deck you know what i'm saying so i mean Kind of up to personal preference. I do like the three, uh, Bailings and Wolf. You want to have Wolf no matter what. Uh, Heat Leo, you don't really go into that much, but it is nice to have the uh, the shuffle in the back row type thing. Uh, and honestly, if you reincarnate one or you lose one or something, you can shuffle it back with Jack Jaguar. Um, so I mean, that's the ratio. I, I don't I don't really. I shouldn't really have to beat a dead horse. If you have any other questions, you know, comment down below and we can figure it out together. Um, so for the other Link 2s, we do have the one Nightmare Phoenix, the one Update Jammer, and the one Splash Mage. This card is the dumbest card I've ever seen in my life. This card too, but Splash Mage is... It's a, a a way to link climb into um, access code, which is coming. Um, so you find a way to make splash mage. Splash mage will revive something back from the grave. You're gonna link those away into a uh, transcode. Transcode is gonna trigger you revive back splash mage or any other link monster, or what have you. Right, have it linked link those in the access code talker and by the time you do this you have the one water pot you have an earth pot 
And a lot of times you'll have the fire pot from either wolf, uh, bay lynx, uh, or anything in that nature. And honestly, if you if you find a way to go into update jammer with uh, splash mage or wolf or what have you, you're gonna have you, you your access code can attack twice, and you can pop two cards on the field. So uh, access code is this is nuts. Uh, it's way better than Boral Sword in my opinion, just because you know it's easier to go into. You have removal effect versus Boral Sword can only attack twice. You can use this as many times as you have to to remove cards on the field. Um, it, it's it's a really great OTK enabler. Um, so. That that's it for the links. I mean, obviously it's a it's a cybers deck. It's a, it's always going to be a link heavy deck in my opinion. Uh, I don't foresee it going anywhere else. I know there's like a, a an X X Y Z uh, Salaman great monster. I don't know if we're ever going to get that. I don't even know if we have it already. I don't know. I I don't recall it being released. If it was, please do let me know down in the comments because I'm intrigued to try it out in here for sure. Uh, if not, you know, hopefully we'll get it soon because, I, again, I would like to try it. It is pretty good in my in certain situations, but I, I don't know if I would play it in this. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on to the XYZ. So we only played two. We only played the one, one Boguska and, of course, the one Abyss Dweller. Uh, Boguska, uh, you know, turns off everything. Uh, I do like to go into this a lot if I have a really crappy hand. And uh, I, I can't really go into too much of anything. I'll, I it's usually uh, the Bay Lynx and Boguska, and you know, pass turn and good luck to my opponent. And then hopefully I can draw something that can you know help me get into my place. Uh, Dweller, Lordy, it, it is ridiculous in the mirror match. Um, Orcus, I've I've played against Orcus. Uh, I don't, this deck, does, or Dweller doesn't really do too much against the uh, Dogmatica Invoked, except for maybe, um, uh, like the wind, uh, the wind combo, uh, where you get it off Al Cologne or whatever. Um, aside from that, like, it's not really that great. Uh, I do want to keep it in here, though, because I do like to have versatility if you shut them down or, you know, just an extra Omni Negate uh, versus, you know, what have you. So, uh, yeah, uh, that that is the deck profile, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any suggestions for, you know, or things you would want to change or what have you, uh, please do let me know down in the comments. Uh, oh, uh, also, I almost forgot, um, the Link 4, uh, Pyro Phoenix, I, I did try it, it really, it's really not that great, it, it, it would, would have been nice to have in certain situations, but it, it's not like a reoccurring thing that happens every single time, so, uh, yeah, that, that, that's honestly why it's not in this deck profile, uh, who knows? It could come up in the future to where we start playing it. I, I honestly doubt it, but uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember to like, like, subscribe, and you know, comment down below if you see anything that you want to change, uh, anything you think I should change uh, going forward. Uh, again, like this deck profile is probably going to change pending the new ban list. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, stay tuned for the bandless prediction video. Should be coming up here soon. Uh, and uh, well, until next time, guys. It's your move.